Hey guys, still here, and welcome back to more Wargame. Today I'm actually joined by Firestarter. He has his Hello. own channel, linked down below in the description, and he frequently covers private purgatory games. These are ranked matches where something weird happens. And we're going to be looking at two of those today. We're both watching the same replay at the same time, and we're going to be commenting on this together. So, big map, mud fight. Mostly seen 10v10 tacticals. How do these 1v1s usually go down? Well, it's just kind of a strange map when it comes to 1v1. Normally, people focus much on the Delta Alpha Town, this mm -hmm. kind of crossroads, because it is a very strategic position. Yeah. So you see some very cheesy openers sometimes. People go out all helos, or they Nighthawk the road, or they start with eight Maglans. So this is a, a map that's always producing interesting private purgatory matches. Mm -hmm. um, however, it, there's always uh, another option you can do. Uh, this other crossroads with the big town below Foxtrot. Yeah. Uh, you can rush units into Charlie and go for that as well. So it looks like we have a, a KT opener from the blue side going for that instead and uh yeah he's not spent anything player. towards alpha yeah yeah it's gonna be interesting <laughs> to see what happens. what's this on all the interior all the sorry guys all the hypnotites yeah it looks like a, a rush if i'm gonna yeah. guess um but again we, we don't know what's gonna happen but they're gonna rush right into the chanmaho fours fives yeah. even yeah, but the, the red player is also starting off with the unconventional opener. Yeah. Although, I mean, he, if he's going for Foxtrot, uh, he's going for the top forest of Foxtrot. That's always a good push to make when you're mm -hmm. on the red side and you don't feel like grinding for that town. Um, so it looks like, yeah, we have cheese versus a semi-normal opener. So it's going to be interesting what's going to happen. Yeah. This is definitely a KT rush. And uh, yeah, should be fun. Red team using... What's that? At least it's a general deck, like a an unspec deck. I'm seeing Hwa Sung Chong's North Korea, Chan Maho North Korea, 5-5-1s five yeah. five from China. Looks like a Red Dragon. I would assume just a... Oh yeah, it could be Red Dragon. Unspec. Yeah, it's an unspec Red Dragon deck. Yep. Because the WZs are Chinese. The mass column on Blue 4 is impressive. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Also, uh, a note to your viewers, if they're not familiar with Private Purgatory, uh, it's a series where we cast the very best of the very worst. Kind of like um, Bronze League Heroes for StarCraft, if anyone see that, we took heavy inspiration from it. So if you also have some wacky games like this that you want um, casted, make sure to submit them to to our, our email, um, if you could include that in the description as well. Yeah, That'd I'll include that. Great. Don't send them to yeah. me, guys. Don't use my user <laughs> yeah, link, no. use Firestarter's link. Yeah, absolutely. So we can have them all in the same spot. It makes it uh, much easier to uh, go through them. Yeah. I wonder if the red player is going to send those 551s into alpha or just keep going until he encounters resistance. Because judging by what yeah. blue has, and a ve oh, there's one BMP 1KT defending that side in Echo. Ooh, that's, that's wise. It's not going to do too much. Oh, it's going to uh, do enough. Yeah. It's going to give him warning. It's gonna delay. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, even one of the five five ones got removed. Yeah, the tanque Sasso. I yeah. think he was trying to go for the Delta Town with it, but he had second thoughts, so he's only sending Recon there, which is probably smart. TY um, ninety and MI twenty five are gonna have a field day against that up until they get into range. True, true. Yeah, I just so want to see that whole part, column fire at the same time. That's gonna be fantastic. <laughs> it's gonna be beautiful. Here we go, match is starting. We have a KT rush against red dragon so you don't you don't see this matchup very often in ranked because not a lot of players play the red dragons but this this is beautiful this is why we love war game you come back after a long day at work you boot up ranked to have a relaxing game and then uh, you face off against this i wouldn't really call ranked relaxing <laughs> fair point <laughs> Oh my god, look at it, it's just a train. Yeah. That is beautiful. I would Curious say a cluster bomber is enough, but you're going to need more than one cluster bomber to take that out. Yeah, but um, by the time you buy the bomber, by the time you fly uh -oh. it over... 25T coming, or 25 coming into range. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> he got oh, that melted. was dumb. <laughs> T-95 
TY90 go, 90. nope, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> okay, this KT rush is not even fast moving anymore. No. Looks like he, he attacked move for a bit. Uh, we have the fast move command coming back now. And uh, the red player is not... Div oh, actually, he is diverting his Charma Hose. Yeah, this is what I wanted to say about the planes. You see how the J7 did not drop the bomb? Because yeah. he was a bit close to the air spawn. Mm -hmm. um, maybe it would have been better to just buy some tanks. Okay, T's could get hit. Yeah, there we go. He dropped off anti tank. Yeah. One Charma Hose 5 down. Ooh, nice. He's actually doing so much work here. Oh, but the J7 comes back, drops a bomb that looks to be on target. That's gonna hurt. No, uh, it's no, not. He missed. Panic yeah, them a bombs. little, but no damage. Okay, Chamahos are getting absolutely slapped. They're getting ignored. Yeah. <laughs> well, he's got There's the a tank there, just ignore it, keep driving. Yeah, absolutely, it's the best thing to do. But the, the response from Red Player is now a bit late. Instead of buying that J7, he should have bought infantry, reinforced those buildings by now. Yeah. As you can see, that KTs will catch the ZSDs before they even cross the bridge. Yeah. So red player in trouble. Blue seems to be worried about an aerial offensive on his base. Yeah, Quite a bit of anti-air sure. there. That's kind of smart. But the, the red player is pushing up his WZ with the recon and some ZSDs straight yeah. into Echo, which is a proper response when you're being rushed. Oh, so you can rush faster. Louis. Does he They're still have spare CV? No, he doesn't. Mate, you're right, he needs to buy another CV. Oh no. He, oh, did, he, he just bought one. He's lucky, yeah. As soon as you buy it, even if your old CV dies, you're still in the game. Which is very lucky for, for the red player. And there's no Sergei's anymore. And no AA. It looks like, did all the AA get sniped? Run forest. Yeah. Does blue player spot this? If he spots the MI8, he knows where it is. He still yeah, has his spawn. Can't hit maybe... it. No, maybe he can buy a plane to snipe it. Oh no, in the red meanwhile, is in the Echo is being trouble. encountered. Yeah, there we go. Lee oh, Ren but pushing. The HQ, the AA oh. is in the base of Echo, so <laughs> whatever plane he buys is going to get sniped. That's genius. Red player still has a chance. He just needs to. He needs to surprise the, uh -oh. the blue player. There goes oh, the CV from team. blue. Yep, dropped it off. It's only delaying the inevitable. <laughs> Look at these KTs rushing against it. <laughs> <laughs> that looks so stupid. It looks like they're going back. It's like cue the Benny Hill theme song. Yeah. Oh, I wonder if that MIA is going to get hit by the Groms, which are defending base. Oh, the Biss. Oh my god. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh, the HQ. She stunned, stunned it. it. Missile oh, out. It. Well, nope. The stun was, was good enough. That's all he needs to do. He needs to resupply it. He's got to stop those uh, cargoes. This is just a battle of the time. Yeah. But the blue player is not buying any tanks. He's not. He's buying some infantry, which is okay, but... Um, Seriously defending a CV now. Yeah. MD500. Oh my god. Down. This is insane close action. It's gonna... Oh my god, the Abyss. No, the CV lives on 1 HP. Yeah, but incredible. that Grom is going to take it down. It the Grom might. or the Eriks? No, they're not in range. He needs to resupply this HQ. Is the cargo is right there. What's he going to do? Is he going to drop off? His... He's going to drop off. He's going to... Oh my god. He's going to neutralize the spawn. But he needs to... Yeah, but he, he doesn't have the hurry. forces. The KTs are coming back. He needs to hurry. And they he have fuel to too. Clean. They'll make it oh, there. Oh, the WZ. The WZ can kill the CV. He's just moving in the wrong way. Oh, he spots it! Oh no! <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Game done, what 30 seconds match. easy. Not that easy. Match. Oh my god, that was beautiful. That was a very quick turnaround. This is why we, we love casting. <laughs> Please keep this coming. I don't want this series to stop. Oh a nice god. relaxing game of ranked after a full day of work, huh? <laughs> About that. That was beautiful. It speaks for itself, really. I don't know what else we could add to that. Yeah. Let me know down below in the comment section what you guys think. Did you see that coming? I, for one, didn't. It was so close. I thought the MI8 was just going to get shot down.
Yeah, the best, the best. He he got two shots on the MI8, but he only brought it down to one HP. That was incredible. Yeah. And the HQ being in the spawn, that was that was insane. Next level strategies right there. Yeah. Oh my god. Now before we hit the next replay, be sure to go over to Firestarter's channel, link down below, and subscribe to him because there's more of this nonsense and madness over on his channel. He does these yeah. games frequently. We have a whole playlist of past uh, Private Purgatory episodes, uh, mm -hmm. which span actually multiple channels. It's kind of a community thing. Um, so every other batch, I have a new co-caster. Mm -hmm. It just makes things more interesting. So yeah, yeah, I would appreciate that if you checked it out. But anyways, we have another game for you. Yep, and we'll let's go over to that one. Oh, that was beautiful. Paddy Fields. I'm loaded in. Ready? Yep. Give me the countdown. Three, two, one, start. We got Elo Assassin versus Instructor Intern. Yeah, we have two captains. Yep. Should be interesting. Uh, looks like uh, it's a Baltic Front player mm -hmm. in Delta. And I would assume a US in Echo. Yep. It, it could be Blue Fort. Uh, we just have to wait and see. Oh no, it's it's not um, Baltic in Delta. It looks like to be a Red Four deck. Yeah, Red Four General. B tier eighty, Copa. Could be Moto. Red Four Moto is pretty interesting. How would you play Red Four Moto on this deck, or map? What would you grab? If I were to what? If you were to play Red Moto on this deck, what would you grab? Oh, on the on the map, um, definitely go for Bravo mm -hmm. uh, because you can grind it out easy. Yeah. Because going for Foxtrot Forest is a bit difficult, mm -hmm. uh, especially if you play against a mech deck. But the thing in ranked is you never know. Yeah. However, you always, always want to send something to this. You see big factory complex below Foxtrot? Yeah. So if you send FJB there, um, some Iglas, whatever, some recon tanks, just to annoy your opponent. Because then mm -hmm. later in the match, while you're grinding out in Bravo, you incrementally try to get back into Foxtrot yeah. that way. Um, so that's kind of the overall strategy, but it, it doesn't always work. Motorized could it, also just try and bypass Foxtrot entirely and go over the bridge. I've seen that happen with the Vickers lately. Yeah, yeah, it's possible. But it, it's, it all depends on of the skill level of the player you're playing against. Mm -hmm. Which in Private Purgatory tends to be on the lower end, which just makes for really interesting games. Yeah. Based on your experience with these ranked games, how do you think South, Africa's gonna, South Africa is going to impact the whole meta? Uh, we'll have to wait and see. I'm assuming it like, depends on what kind of choices you can make for the mech and moto decks. Mm -hmm. But even if South Africa itself won't be broken or if it is we just don't know yet uh i'm assuming blue four mech and moto will definitely be buffed in some ways right and they will be even more meta than they are now because blue mech is by far the strongest 1v1 deck mm -hmm. um blue moto is up there top five decks for ranked for sure so they're just gonna become even more powerful after yeah. that which i'm kind of worried about but i i don't play the game competitively anymore mm-hmm yeah, I just prefer a kind of crazy action like this now. <laughs> <laughs> so it's more entertaining. Um, but Let's see. Blue is going with the M1A1 duo, yeah. interestingly. Yeah, exactly. As uh, I mentioned, he did delete them. but Oh, no. He starts with three M1s. Yeah, yeah. So, so in this case, there's a lot of heavy tanks going for Foxtrot. And as a motorized player, if you're pushing this triangular forest in Foxtrot, uh, you're not going to win the opener against mm -hmm. that many tanks. Yeah. So I think that the red player is kind of reading the situation perfectly. And uh, it looks like his main focus will be Bravo. Yeah, that's exactly where Blue does not have a whole lot of stuff yet. Yeah, absolutely. And being a US player, you can get outgrinded by a lot of Yakari spam or whatever else the, the red yeah. player has in his motorized selection. Once you got Bravo, it's a short hop to Charlie. Yeah, absolutely. It, it, I've seen games happen, even in, in high rank games where people just lose control of Charlie because they underestimate their defenses in Bravo. Yeah. So it's an interesting map because sometimes you see like really crazy pushes going for either Alpha or Charlie, or I've even seen some people push Hotel from the mm -hmm. blue side. 
Um, yeah, it all depends on on how they position themselves. Cobra and Jet Ranger going for the early intel. Yeah. There's one SX250 going over to the far left or far right, depending on how you look at it. Yeah, I would I would assume that's Lee Ren. That's recon infantry. It's gonna yeah. plop them in the factory there, which is perfect. You always want to have something covering that. You yep. never want to give it up. We have a Nighthawk opener. That is beautiful. So the Cobra is probably spotting. Yep. Spotting that uh, infantry blob. This will be costly. This could immediately sway Bravo. Ooh, absolutely. Split, 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 split. No, we missed. Ooh, lucky. Infantry all made it out alive. I think that was a far position. Yeah. Oh, but the Cobra. <laughs> just... Cobra guesstimated and didn't it's quite just... see it anymore, maybe. No, I'm pretty sure he, he spots that because it is a recon. He will. Yeah, yeah true. He's, sh he's shooting the transports. He doesn't have vision on the infantry. Well, the infantry Actually, still got all the brunt of the damage. Yeah, because of the splash. There's more contact over there. Yeah, Empty but the tabs red now coming in. Yeah, Proletary 90 and FJB. Good luck, Rifleman. Yeah, unload it straight in his face. And we have a ZTZ's following up. It's a very good motorized tank choice. A uh, very low rate of fire, but it packs a punch. I missed what took down the Cobra. What was that? Because it was not the Osas. Um, yeah, true. The I Ito still well. has its missiles. Oh, the FJB, maybe? Yeah, the FJB in Golf. Uh, they have four out of six Strellas. So, that, that's oh, what Oh, Golf, the sorry. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, those would have done it. Yeah. And ones can push through. Look at that Humvee. Bypassing the whole sector. You yeah, might. No, not quite. Gets killed by the group, but it gives him uh, a lot of information on mm -hmm. what is there. So the blue player has a perfect opportunity now with his superior rifleman spam and the three stack of Abrams to absolutely roll golf. But he will lose Bravo, and as you said, Charlie is totally wide open. Yeah. So if the red player exploits this gap, there might be something wacky happening. The MTV shooting on the transports there, so it looks like the, the push in golf will be stalled. Yeah, and I'm concerned about Charlie. There is another couple of Humvees coming in. Yeah, but those proletary, if they catch them... Yeah. I don't gonna... think they're going to make it that far. I think he might drop them off over here at the building. Uh, we'll see. That's Smalls, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah it is. Smalls and Humvees. Which is a good choice. Only 30 points. Um, but the small and LVTP combo is a bit stronger. I kind mm -hmm. of prefer that. Oh, these Burtska Peshadi are actually just melting all these riflemen here. <laughs> wow, that is... that's clutch. I think the Nighthawk should be ready right about now. They can wipe out the whole infantry group in golf. Yeah, absolutely. The red player is doing a very good push though. He's got his tanks far wide. Mm -hmm. He's reinforcing Bravo as well. And you're right, the Nighthawk is here, but he was uh, evac ordered. I'm not sure why. There must be a reason for it. Yeah, but uh, Elo Assassin doing good work in golf. Yeah. Here comes oh, the he Deagle. bought a Deagle too. <laughs> but he's getting countered by 913. Oh, he got stunned. He did drop. And on the way to the bombing ground, he just casually takes out the 913. Ooh, nice. Brutska made it squad. out. Yeah, he killed one squad, though. Yep. But he forces the, the move from the buildings. So that leaves them vulnerable to all the fire support. Mm hmm. Good play there. Yeah, very good push. More aerial units coming in. Here's the Nighthawk again. Oh, the, <laughs> the transport truck made it into Echo, and he spots the Humvee. But Blue <laughs> so can't see it. those tanks, can he? The, the truck? No, the ZTZs, that just got bombed. West of Bravo. Oh, oh I see that. Uh, maybe they just got hit by the night. Oh, hold on, there's a unit in Echo. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean, the truck is just spotting the yeah, sorry, but he doesn't that. have any armament. So I can't do anything with it. Too bad it wasn't a WZ with the Liran. That would have made a difference. Might have even ended the match. Red now knows where the Blue Force CV is and just called in a smirch. Oh. Put an attack marker on it. It's this type of game, okay. 
I like this. Yeah, but in terms of map control, it's pretty even. We yeah. have Bravo in the red control, and Golf is basically in the blue control. And yeah, this Smirch and the CV Snipe might actually turn the tide here. Smirch is loading. Yep. Oh, shoot. If, if the red player moves this Lee Ren a bit further up towards Foxtrot, he maybe even spot the Chaparral. Yeah. Which would be uh, huge. Oh, Here but comes he the, the The CV moves. Yeah. yeah. Just in time. He anticipates it perfectly. That's unfortunate for the red player. And now he has an expensive unit that he has no idea what to do with. Abrams could... bypassing the town in golf. <laughs> That's pretty smart. Oh, but the bird's got still quite. a side shot. Yeah. Got a side shot on one Abrams. Those guys are resilient. Absolutely. There we 15 go. Men. Golf under control. Yeah, nice. Instructor intern but, slowly making progress towards Charlie. Yeah. yeah, but just as the the previous episode we made, now it's kind of a standstill situation where yeah. either player, they have to make a move if they want to get the upper hand. Speaking of, because, there's a Command M6 to being spawned in. Yeah, the blue player kind of over-investing in uh, CVs. But considering the red player bought a smirch, it kind of yeah. evens out the point advantage. VDV making a break for it. Yeah, but they're gonna get caught by the small. Although small run out of ammo pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. So maybe he can... There you go, that's the VDV out of the way. But yeah, it's not worth to lose a expensive infantry squad like that. Looks really like awesome. red is reinforcing Bravo. There's more OT tabs coming in there. Yeah, I would assume those are more proletari. Where's that Colos going? Oh, that's a good question. Maybe it was supposed to resupply the guys in Gulf. I think it's going towards Bravo. Yeah. Taking this uh, road that's uh, up on the plateau. <laughs> I love how Blue went never again with the, the CV getting rushed. There's LV 25s all over the place. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's a good call. When you play ranked, you always want to have flank defense. Mm -hmm. Just far too much shenaniganry going on yeah speaking of bmp1 tjj coming up that's a perfect spot for it it's because it's a recon unit it's got the stealth and yeah. the conquerors oh but he does get spotted by the rangers yep. moving in there so um yeah elo assassin is aware of it elo's gonna sit on the plus three soon yeah red player needs to make a move here he either needs to stop the tick buy a cv hotel or just try mm -hmm. to roll charlie or something but now it's a bit late to roll charlie charlie's There's too so heavily defended to be a quick roll yeah there's a a1 abrams now but and this is private purgatory so we can definitely go either way absolutely <laughs> anything can happen yeah but maybe with proper smoke he could get these proletarii in the chart into the town yeah the smirch but is aiming at something uh, we have to wait and see what it is. If he goes for the Echo Hawks or, or the Charlie, Charles? uh, that's going for Charlie. Charlie. I would assume. Yeah. No, Echo. Did he guess where the CV went next? Uh, no, the Abrams probably. Yeah. Yeah. Oof. Close. Is he gonna fire full salvo? Yeah. I think he's shooting at the forest there. No, he's scattering he his fire. Yeah. That's smart. Didn't kill anything with it. Oh no, there's a uh, Britska in the OTs. Yep. Which is a great choice for there. Very good defensive units. You know, it's like they're just waiting for something. They're not sitting in the building. They're not sitting in the tree line. Uh, there's a building right there, yeah. He's just... There we go. Needed to move them. 
Yeah, the Colos is resupplying his initial infantry push there. Yep. Ah, here's the CV for Hotel. Yeah, so it's going to be stabilized. There's also another CV for Alpha, so it's going to be even. However, Elo Assassin's sitting on a nice, comfortable 150-point yeah. lead. So definitely uh, Instructor here has to do something if he wants to win this game. He needs to make uh, some big plays, either make a big push in his own or buy more Smirches, snipe a whole bunch of CVs. Mm-hmm. Or uh, spam a whole bunch of helos, fly around the flank. Yeah, definitely uh, he's not playing on the back foot. This is usually where I stall in ranked games back when I played them. I go, okay, now what? Well, as a moto deck, you never want to sit because the more time you give your opponent to fortify, the harder it is to dislodge someone. As a moto deck, yeah. you want to be playing across the map all of the time. Every mm -hmm. point you have, you invested in something. Recon there, infantry here, tank here, A there. And you're just yeah. constantly trying to spread your opponent then. That's the idea of a, of a motorized deck. Um, however, Instructor is not really playing it to its strength. So it's chosen to play a bit defensive in this case. Mm -hmm. Which, given the map choice, kind of makes sense. But he definitely needs to make something happen. He needs to use this um, advantage he has at the bottom of Foxtrot. He needs to put FJB there, just fortify that position, put some tanks where that Humvee is, and just be very annoying in Foxtrot. Just force, <laughs> force Elo Assassin to invest there. And that actually, in turn, makes it easier for uh, him to push into Charlie. Yeah. Because there's less reinforcements there. 913 could be a duel with the Deagle. Is the Deagle going to try and drop to Lee Ren? What's he no, doing? No, I there? think he's going for the smirch. Oh, if he gets the smirch, that'd be insane. He's fly all the way around. 913 yeah. seems to be aware of it. Oh no, he's just. No. He's evac. Loitering. Yeah. Evac. Complete standstill in this game so far. Smirch going off again. Maybe he gets the hawk. Or the chap. Or nothing. Oh, he gets the yep, chap. He got the chap. That's good. If he can kill the hawk too, that's huge. That's the last of the NTR from Blue. How's Red yeah. doing for NTR? You got the two Osas and one Ito 90. Yeah. He squared away. Well, he's got an FJB and Bravo too. Mm hmm. Oh my god. Like, Charlie is just an impenetrable rifleman fortress at this point <laughs> in the match. It's not something yeah, you can I'd, clean I'd up with a smirch either. Exactly. He needs a Urigan for it. And I don't think he has it in the deck. He's buying another couple of OT tabs for Hotel. This could be a build-up for the next 20 minutes or so. Yeah, well, going for Golf instead of Charlie is the right call in this case. There's no way he's taking Charlie at this point in the match. That's a big, big air push there. Yeah, Prowlers, right Nighthawks, Deagles, Blocks. This is gonna... He's gonna go clear up the, the forest. AK. Yeah, the AK Spot got shot gone. by Prowler. Actually, they didn't do much. 913 missed against the Prowler. Nothing went down there, actually. Block 52, shot at the... There you go, MiG-29's down. Nice. Prowler's Prowler still deep. alive. Yeah, that's crazy. But those bombing runs didn't actually do much. Well, they killed the Bertska in the town. They also so killed 20 crazy. Spatsnaz, or 20 um, Spada between the Spatsnaz and the Light Rifleman in Golf. Ah, yeah. yeah. That was the Nighthawk. Smalls are dashing forward in their weakened condition. Don't want to be doing that. Everybody is rushing forward. Okay, there's a big push now. <laughs> the red player's in trouble here. What is he going to do? Where are those reinforcements? Yeah, they're coming in now. Judging by all the transports that are rushing towards Hotel, it seems like he might come down that cliff again. Or that ridge line. Yeah, here come the Scots. Yeah. There's not a single tank around, just a bunch of light riflemen, riflemen and rangers. Yeah, he moved his Abrams up. Yep. So they're all in Bravo. Well, he's doing the right call here, pushing into golf instead. But he oh, doesn't have... the fight for their life. There's no fire support from uh, the red player. No. There's only two easy Vidyats who are out of position. This light rifleman is actually doing a pretty good job. Yeah, he's not going to take golf. No. Yeah, red player in a really bad spot right now. That Sokol could be trouble next to Golf. Blue has nothing to counter that with if he makes a move. 
Yeah, because the Chaparral got sniped. Oh, and the Hawk is also out of missiles. Mm hmm But of course, um, Red Flare does not notice. Actually, he maybe knows it because he's just buying MTVs now. He might actually take this out, you know? Beautiful combined arms there between the Rifleman and the Abrams. Yeah. No AA. There's the Sokol. He's going pretty deep with it. Might get a Way shot too deep. Yeah. Well, and now Elos has to notice that his Hawk is out of missiles. Yeah, and there's no chopper else anyway. Right. He needs to dab ASAP. But there's an Ito, so it wouldn't do anything. Looks like we'll have a switch. Yep. On both flanks, actually. Roll. Yeah. Oh, what's the smirch gonna do? It's bang on the Abrams. Does damage uh, the A1 a bit. And the Gru. Bit of damage, oh, but nothing missed. too serious. Oh, the GRU, he missed the tight <laughs> shot on the Abrams. It's so unfortunate. Getting punished for it. Yeah. He could have killed it, I would have been big. Yeah. There we go. Town and Golf is clear. Red's good to go. Yeah, there's a lot of MTVs on the on the field now. VBV should be able to take that town. The light riflemen get absolutely no pick. <laughs> Blue player buys a command tank. Yep. Still wants his advantage. You up. could get shut down pretty hard by those 45, but that's good. He could, yeah. Two tabs pushing. The riflemen are good, but without the fire support, they really struggle against infantry. Well, blue still has all that air power. True. One and more air uh, dash, and you can clean right into alpha. Absolutely. And oh, pushing. look, we have a BMP one being moved uh, below Foxtrot now. That might actually snipe some chopper else if he gets lucky. Where? Foxtrot? Yeah. Oh See yeah. The BMP1? Because there is a chopper all driving that road. Yeah, but the LAV could catch it. It already launched one Conqueror, at something. Oh, the chopper all's taking a different road, unfortunately. There's a BTR 70 with an ATGM coming into Golf. Yeah, he's gonna plop a Conqueror there. Yeah. And we'll give him some. Uh, Area denial helps fight against those Abrams a bit, but he's looking very bad in Alpha. So the blue player is doing a very good push there. Yeah, but they're only pushing solo now. They've all joined up. Yeah, they're gonna be picked off the... one by one. True. Hawk is back online. Oh wow, those birds are getting absolutely swarmed. But there's a lot of helos there now. It's gonna help uh, the red player a bit. He bought four stack of Osa AK. That's a lot of points. Yeah, and they're gonna run right into two Abrams. That's expensive. Yeah, what he's doing. The Abrams are targeting the Osas. Two Ouch. down. And now the Hawk Blue is has captured up. Bravo. Yep, and here comes the plane train. Well, it's just a Nighthawk and a Prowler. But still, maybe he gets the other two osas here. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, they're active. Miss. Hard one shot. That's all he needs, really. Osas are offline, oh, no. but beautiful. Oh, Nighthawk but at the expense dead. of the Nighthawk. Yeah. Ito must have gotten it. Yeah, he did. Okay, so Bravo's cleared. Golf swapped. Foxtrot's now open. Here comes another aircraft. What is he going to try and snipe? The Ito? I think so. It's in the open, but how does he have vision on it? He doesn't. No. The Ito stops. You can maybe land a lucky shot on this. Yep. He does. Half HP. Hit. Oh, the Smirch. Brings that Abrams very low. It's only on 2 HP. I still wouldn't want to push into that with the Proletary. Yeah. And the, the BMP on the flank of Foxtrot is just harassing the riflemen as they're coming in. Yeah, kills them. Now, that too. there you go. I'll leave you 25 down. 
That thing is so nice. It's like a, a cheap version of the Bradley. Mm-hmm. With vision. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the Recon Bradley also has it. But it's yeah. 80 points. Quite expensive. And he has a very small foothold in Fox now. Yeah, but it's it's enough to distract the blue player. And yep. the blue player is just buying more CVs. I feel like that might hurt him in the long run. The only place that can go is golf. Yeah. The riflemen are about to meet another match. 30 Spado in Alpha. Looks like he's coming back there. Abrams are gonna eat that BTR. No, that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Too fast. He sneaks through. <laughs> oh no. If he keeps going, he maybe even kill a child Burrell with it. Or he can get the rear armor. Oh my god, he can actually kill this Abrams here. No, the Abrams oh, is in trouble. There's also a halt uh, shooting at it. It, Got it wasn't uh, reversing. Actually, show the front armor to the BTR. There's no rifleman left in Bravo. Just one mm -hmm. tank, a command tank, and a chaparral. There are yeah. some reinforcements inbound, though. Yeah, but it'll take a while to get there. Yeah. Maybe these spados can clean up in the meantime. Yeah, red player's coming back strong. Yep. Did not expect it. Uh-oh. That's bad news for the rifleman over there in Foxtrot. That MI-8 popping up. Just needs to acquire the rifleman again. Yeah, I think it's... Oh, no. He's... That's a weird MI-8. I don't know what's there. There we go. Dead. Yikes. Now Foxtrot is wide open, too. That leaves the road to the command vehicle wide open. There's an yeah. HGM being dropped off. I can shut down that whole sector. Yeah, Conquer's M. Blue player not looking too good. I mean, he has a fairly decent lead. 214 versus 3. Yeah, but he's losing the map control. True. Very rapidly. Let's see. There's a longbow out in the field, but what is that going to kill against the moto deck? If you're lucky, you That's pick true. off a high value oh, infantry wait, on wait, the way. Wait, 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 wait. Where's that longbow going? What is going to happen? the field. The CV hmm. in uh, Delta is not defended. Hmm. That could be a disaster in the making. It all depends how wide he goes with the Lombo, because the FJB are on the tip of Alpha. If he flies too close, he might get burned. Mm -hmm. If he wants to make this work, he needs to kind of go up on the edge and then come down, kind of hug the left side of the map. Yep. And I, I think... <laughs> We're about to see uh, something weird happen. Let's say Let's that hope. the CV does get sniped. That would force him to pull out of hotel, and Blue can gain even more points. Yeah. Ooh, there's an MI8 coming in with a command. You better hope the Chaparral doesn't notice you there. True. Well, um, Blue player stabilizing Bravo, it looks like, although the rifles sort are of. getting melted. Sort What's of the patties. command tank doing? It's not sitting still. I think he's trying to reverse it or something? Or no, he's trying to kill the SPW. Yeah. No, he stopped. Not in time. There you go, he capped it again. He also capped Gaul, so he's at a plus two. Yeah, but with the CV in golf from the red player, it's gonna be stabilized into yep. a plus one. Hard to hide that though. Yeah, true. I uh, could easily kill it with the Nighthawk. Longo oh, is just about it. done making it. his pass through. Yeah, it's... Yeah, perfect. He's doing the, <laughs> it's gonna be the good. wide reach around there. It's gonna... Yeah, there's nothing to defend in Delta. <laughs> this could be game over, honestly. Yield flanking the... maneuver. Yeah. Smurch shooting on the Gulf Forest, where the A1 and the command tank are. Not oh, really. No, my bad. No, Fox drop. Fox drop instead. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. Oh, I think because the SPW spotted the command tank there, which is a good call. You want to force the CVs to move around. Yep. It's not doing any damage though. Close though. 
He scores a hit for three. That M60 might be getting pretty nervous. True. I would be too in this case. Longbow just about ready to make its assault. Oh no. Oh no. There's no defense. Oh, nope. the deagle as well. Where's the deagle going? It's Might be a follow-up. Yeah, he's probably just waiting maybe for... Um, there's a block to cover is. the longbow and a prowler to make sure there's absolutely nothing threatening it. FJB yeah, firing at the prowler. So is the osa. Prowler goes down. Gone. Longbow is now in the base. Longbow might see the smirch. Let's see. What yeah, it's shooting? lining up a shot. No, he's just looking no, at the No, he's not. No, he's shooting at the MI8. Because it's landed. He kills it. <laughs> Deagle goes on the fob. Longbow spots the smirch now. One shot off. Smirch is dead. Fob is on one HP. <laughs> Why is the longbow backing off? What is he doing? I don't know. That is just now the Sokols are spawning him, but that's a bit late. Yeah. You had I mean, it with the longbow. Oh no, what are you doing? Go for Alpha at least, kill a CV. He should have committed. Shh. It's just one longbow. No. Now the window's closing. Oh, it's yeah, he's over. Gone. Why did you do that? Oh, it would have been so clutch. You could have killed Delta, then you should yeah. have backed off into Alpha. You could have killed two CVs in one run. And now the Sokols are just going to chase the longbow. That is unfortunate. I'm not sure why Ulo Assassin did that. He could have had it, honestly. Yeah, there was nothing shooting been... the longbow either. No. But if he's going to take a close pass past Alpha, yeah, the, the FJB, FJB will let him know yeah. that that's not a good idea. I was going to try and hunt on the T-55 to secure yeah, his CV. Yeah, it's not worth it. The Sokols are closing the gap really quickly. And there's no follow-up to help defend that longbow. Sokols are not as fast as the longbow. It's a difference of 20. But if they keep coming, then they're going to get baited all the way back into base. Yeah, There true. is a chaparral there, but that's a long way off. These hornets and blocks are trying to... Uh, he loses the hornet completely. One heavily damaged. The seed plane. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. He calls two daps, but I don't know if it's going to get there in time. Needs to keep moving the longbow. Oh, why did he do that? He could have he could have won the game right there. So unfortunate. Okay, there's the block again. Goes for the so call. Doesn't get any. Okay. The daps will be able to kill them now. Yeah, they got one Igla left between the two of them. Yeah, certainly not enough. Yeah, Red has been them. managed to stabilize. Yeah, they have a CV counter-capping Fox. Blue's no longer gaining. Yeah. But Red still needs to make a decisive push. Because Elo Assassin is 290 points up. Mm-hmm. It's not going to be Bravo by the looks of it. Yeah, I'm surprised that he still has control of Bravo. Another Prowler out on the Prowler field. versus SU-22. Yeah, Deagle. Deagle well. and block. A lot of blue air power again. The last Osa goes down. Yep. Block is killing the seed. It goes down as well. Deagle is gonna. Is this bang on the money? No, it's close though. Well, oh, he still gets actually. it. Actually. Lucky. Yeah, CV snipes might actually win him the game here. Still a plus one for blue. Yeah. Elo Assassin is still trying to go for... No, sorry, uh, Instructor. Trying to go for Bravo with the Scots. The Do you see that DAP rushing? Going... Yeah, I see it going deep, but uh, the CV is a command infantry here, so... And the oh, Ito is guarding it. Ito. Yeah, dead. Yeah, no, no, there's another Ito in Delta, so he's definitely lost his window of opportunity there. Uh, Longbow the long survived, at least. True, but... Could have done so much more. Yeah. Just a missed opportunity, sadly. But Elo Assassin still on a plus one. It's a total yeah, shambles CV game. Coming in. His front lines collapsed, but he's still in this game. I don't understand how. Well, Red's pretty spread out. Yeah, as a motor deck should be, but he's not really making efforts to push anywhere. There's a second like, longbow on the move. 
Oh, no, true. But there's an ETO in Foxtrot. And FGB oh, is Oh dear. Don't lead with the longbow. Whoops. Dead. Cobra next. Oh, yeah, you successfully tested the air, air AA. They have some. <laughs> <laughs> expensive, expensive way to test, though. <laughs> yeah. He knows where the I2 is and marked it. Yeah, and it's not moving. Maybe if he had some artillery, that would be nice. If Red keeps moving with those Spados in Bravo to Charlie, he can get that AA. He could, yeah. Well, blue seems pretty dominant in disguise. Yeah, but it's it's not gonna do much for him if he doesn't have anything to hold the ground. Mm -hmm. It looks like the ground game is tipping into Red's favor, but he's just not exploiting it's it. Not fully. fast enough. Yeah, there's only eight minutes to catch up 300 points. Unless he kills all CVs, I don't see him coming back in this. Here come two quad stacks of riflemen. Oh, that's gonna be, be big. serious about Charlie. Yeah, he doesn't want to lose it. Command tank opening up again. Spado not in range yet. FJB moving up. More Spado coming up. And the M1. Well, it could assist somewhat, but not much against that much infantry. Nope. Although the command tank uh, fended smoking off against those two Spados. He's smoking a CV as well. There's no more smirch. Yeah. So that helps a lot. So we still have a push coming from the Spados here. They will surround the Abrams. Most likely Golf has nice been shot. lost to red. Plus one. Yeah, fully. It's plus two now. And yep. soon to be plus three. Oh no. Actually, yeah, because he's got a CV for Bravo. The command uh, tank is uh, getting out of Bravo there. Yep. She could even force the other M60 out of Foxtrot. I wonder how long that M60 is going to stay gone with the eight riflemen coming in. That Even the, the poor Humvees are being thrown into the fight now. Well, it all depends on the amount of fire support he has. Okay, but seven minutes at a plus three, I still don't think that's enough. Mm -hmm. We have a Deagle, we'll most likely kill the Foxtrot CV. Or, in the very least, the Ito. Two block 52s. Oh, yep. there's the Deagle dead. Oh, it does go down. Yeah, it's not worth it trading a Deagle for an Ito. And maybe now if he had the longbow, <laughs> it would have made a difference, but he uh, threw it away early. Mm -hmm. Ooh, the Spados catch the M60, but unfortunately they're low on RPGs. One shot, not going to be enough. Nope. But the hot... They seem a little again. busy against the Rifleman. Yeah. Blocks coming in. What are they going for? They're gun running. At <laughs> 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 oh this point, anything goes. Yeah, getting desperate. Get the blocks out of there if you want to keep them intact. Now the Ito shooting. Oh, are you going to do it again? He just keeps missing. Oh, He's no. going to do it again. No, well, he he's well. not. At and least not with that block. The other one almost died. Yeah, close. Definitely not worth it. There is another quad stacker rifleman coming up through Charlie. And is that many infantry? They won't win that. Red has too much in that forest with the Scots for support. Yeah, he really needs the Abrams for fire support, otherwise, he's just not going to win those engagements. But with this Still plus three, plus it's, three. It's, it's, it's not enough in five minutes. He needs more. He needs to push Charlie. SU-25T. Okay. Where are you going with the T? That's Vickers, it's, it's not the, the rocket pods. Oh wow, you killed one in 113. Okay. It's probably the missile costs more than the five-pointer. <laughs> the blocks might be out of action. Rushed. One down, one in repair. We have some labs trying to rush Foxtrot. I don't think it's going to end well. Well, they're getting awfully close to the Conquerors. He shouldn't stick to the road, though. Get off the road. 
It just got melted. The only thing in Foxtrot for blue is the command tank. Yeah. Oh, and now he buys the M110s. These could have been handy if he bought them earlier. Mm hmm. Red's about to push into Charlie. Yeah. I... They don't Curious have a CV for that happens. yet, but if they get that, it's going to get very painful very quickly. He's at a plus seven if he gets Charlie. If he caps it, yeah. If he doesn't have a CV for it. 25T versus Prowler? <laughs> okay. Anything goes. Oh, he gets stunned by the Hawk. He's still chasing. No, Evax. And the Prowler just continues as if nothing is wrong. Yeah, just getting information. <laughs> well, it's actually, all the, yeah, all the Itos seem to have died. There's mm -hmm. only one in Alpha, but it's low in ammo. It's only got one missile left. One seventy-two versus three hundred three. We're not gonna see a draw, are we? I'm not sure. It might happen, but I think he needs a plus four for it or something, right? How many points do you Probably. get in a minute with a plus three? I don't know the math. I don't know. It's three every four seconds. I'm not smart enough to do the calculations. So you get about seventy-five points per minute then. Okay. So that's so 210. Good. That would do it. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, actually, you might even win. That would be amazing. We have more Cobras rushing, so yeah. All Elo Assassin needs to do is stop the tech. He just needs to kill some CVs. Yeah. Here comes the cheese. Perfect. We have three Cobras and the last remaining Longbow. No AA at all. Golf and Fox are getting... wide open. Yeah. <laughs> the 25T is being thrown into the fight to try and this take is a, down this the is helos. A one. Oh my god, he actually did it. What? <laughs> no way. Well done. Cobras. No, you guys are getting awfully close. Oh, he's going to get melted by the MG of the CV. Well, he doesn't know where the CV oh, is. Good. Yeah, true. Nope, dead. Lee Ren got him. Unfortunately, he's got M110s though, so he can still make something happen. And they're both opening up. But they're too late. Unless it team. predicts where he's going to be. More M10s coming in. Oh my god, how many does he have? At and he's spawning them away from the fog. They only have two shots. so they really He's firing him at Foxtrot. Yeah. And he Last did kill the Oh, he got him. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. 144. Okay, he slowed the tick down. Not enough. No. He needs to neutralize it. Or at least slow it down to a plus one, I think. The other yeah. M110s are also opening up now. Judging by yeah, what they're pointing at. They're gonna run out of ammo. They need to be close to the fob. Yeah. Yeah, so he's gonna get maybe one more shot out of them. Shell out. Will he kill the going? Seat? Looks to be on target, honestly. No, it's shooting where it was. Yeah. And it's since moved. So it might live. 271 for 303. It's getting close. There's still nothing in Foxtrot by the command tank. Yep. Could He's not killed. probing there either. No. One Conqueror could finish it. Ooh, the Chaparral went down to the Conquerors. 283. Uh, oh, this is getting too close. My guess is a draw, unless something spectacular happens. Well, that, there could. There's two Hots being spawned into Fox. But with 15 seconds, they can't get there. No. Maybe the BMP can get a shot on the command tank. Seven but seconds, 293. Oh no, it's gonna be a draw. Yep. Well, Done. at least he managed to draw it out. Hell I'm of a comeback by Red. Is, yeah, true. Surprised the KD's that even. I would have thought uh, Elo Assassin threw away a lot more than that. Yeah. 
Well, in a, in a way, he threw away the game when he didn't push into the delta. Yeah, I don't know what he was doing with the longbow. He could have clutched. He could have killed two CVs in one pass, the longbow as well. Yeah. Could have ended it right there, but yep. just private purgatory. Yeah. In a way, it's really unsatisfying because mm -hmm. I wanted to see that happen so bad. That would have been so good, but <laughs> it is unfortunate. Bit of a right, slower-paced game than the that first one. That concludes it. But, yeah. That was the game. Again, if you have more of these kind of games, uh, send them to Firestarter. The instructions will be down below in the description. Uh, don't send them to me. Don't send them to me. He's running this show, so send them to him. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Firestarter, thanks for joining, and thanks for the replays. Hey, Hope you guys for, enjoyed uh, it. And, uh, well, let me know what you guys thought of the replays in the comments. Looking forward to seeing what you thought of that... Uh, that clutch gameplay in the first replay and this very narrow play by the longbow in the second. Let me know. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you soon. Bye.